Hello my soccer universe. Today is the anniversary of probably one of my favorite games of all time, if not the favorite game of all time. It's the 30th anniversary of a Champions League final that went into the history books. Just show you this, it is also on the cover of this little book, which it was released in uh, early 95. The winners are on there. Milan, of course. It's a special night where Milan beat Johan Cruyff's the Dream Team in Athens 4-0. Still the highest margin together with Real Madrid beating Frankfurt 7-3 uh, in the six is the highest margin ever to win a European Cup final. And they did so, as I said, against a Barcelona's Dream Team that featured not only uh, Romario and Stajkov up front, but you know, certain players like Ronald Koeman and of course Pep Guardiola. And they did it with a team that was severely hampered by having especially Franco Baresi and Billy Costa Curto missing. But also, you know, a Marco van Basten was the Dutch era was over. No one really thought that Milan could do anything. They rolled over the line, winning the title with, you know, solid defense, but not a lot of goal scoring. There was a whole lot of talk. This is the game of the century. The two styles that were clashing, Johan Greif said, will it be the defensive style of Milan against the offense brilliance of Barcelona? Well, that was put to rest rather quickly in one of the most impressive, if not the most impressive performance. It was also sweet for me because that was a final between my favorite team against my brother's favorite team. So watching that one felt really, 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 really good as well. And in honor of this great performance, I said, well, I have not done a, actually a collection video on my Milan collection. I'm not going to show you all my Milan jerseys. However, I want to show you all my Milan away jerseys in honor of this triumph because Milan played in white. And yes, this is probably my holy grail at, at the moment, a jersey from that triumph, which I know this never has been released. So it would be a jersey that you have to get off the players and that is nigh impossible. But yeah. I have seen that Milan have released a remake, which is not quite the same, but you know, I might actually go for one of these because it's such a special memory. Now, I don't have a Milan jersey from 94. Yes, I have an Adidas jersey from 1991 season, a cheaper version, but uh, the oldest Milan away jersey I have in my collection is this. 96, 97 away jersey. Yes, this was when Milan was down. However, they wore a very similar design, of course, with Milan crest and the star here, already in 95, 96 title winning season. And I re wanna remember there was a Georges Weah goal scored against Lazio that was rather brilliant. I actually, when this was released, I loved that design uh, with the center stripe here in red and black, the Opel logo in there. Uh, it is a blank. I think this would need a number. I always said if I would get, get, get a number on there, it has to be either Georges Weah or Albertini for some reason, because he's one of those players that I think is totally overlooked, but was one of my favorite players at the time. Uh, it has the Milan crest here on, on the side, but uh, what I really love is uh, how it splits up the red and the black, you know, here you have it the opposite way here as well so uh that's nicely done and then there's also an interesting pattern on there as well which is the craziest thing where did i buy this jersey at a soccer store in perth australia in 98. couldn't believe i it was between this one uh the south africa home jersey from that world cup or uh the dutch away jersey and i went for milan i think it was the right choice although i still would like to have the other two jerseys as well. Next up is probably the jersey that comes closest uh, to me in sense of winning a Champions League title, which is this 2003 away jersey that was worn on that night in Manchester when Milan won against Juventus an all Italian final. Uh, a Champions League triumph that came at least ahead of the season, a little bit un unexpected. However, Milan were really good in the first and the second group group stage. They, of course, then eliminated Ajax in a nail biter, and then they eliminated Inter. Um, I think it was a Shevchenko goal, and they won it on away goals, which is one of those ridiculous things. In any case, um, 
after the triumph I went to the Milan uh, website and ordered the jersey. Of course the white one was not available anymore so I ordered the black one with Maldini on, on, on the back and it took me, I think it was two or three year, years ago that I found this on Wilhaben. And I said, this is one, this will be my Christmas present. I need to get this one. There was for a long time on classic football shirts, right around the time when I came back, it was 10, 10 years ago, they were selling a version of that made for the final with all the print on. And I was always tempted. I just didn't have the funds at the time. So I, I do regret not getting that original one. But hey, I have this one. I'm really pleased that, that I have it. It has a small blemish, unfortunately, somewhere. I think one of those webbed things yeah, here is broken. That's maybe the only uh, downside, but I have one of the most historic shirts. You know, Maldini lifting for the first time as a captain, the European Cup. That always is special, also in England, like his father did. I think it was 40 years before at Wembley. Well, but it's not the only Champions League winning jersey that I have. Again, Athens. So uh, maybe this is closer. This one, of course, is the one that they wore in the 2007 Champions League final. I was in America at the time and they were selling this on what, World Soccer Shop. They were selling, uh, having this on sale. And I ordered it because I actually like it. This is for me the best way this team guys template works because it more or less hides the template away except for this red part on there. And then, you know, you have the white here. So I really like the way this was constructed. And it was on sale. Unbelievably. I ordered, ordered it and then Milan became the best team in, in the world for a short period in time and got revenge for the loss in Istanbul. So Athens is always high for a Milan fan, probably the favorite city out of Milan for any Milan fan, I would uh, I would suggest. I got it back then with a fake Nesta name set. Recently, this has been restored. The restoration, unfortunately, the old na name set has such a strong glue that you can still make it out a teeny bit, but at least I have now the original Nesta name set there. For me, of course, Maldini is my favorite, favorite player, but I remember when Nesta was signed, this was for me the sign, yes, Milan is back. And so I want to have Nesta and I think the partnership of Maldini and Nesta at the back is just special. Of course, people in Sagi, Ricardo Kaka, those would be other ones next to Pirlo and Gattuso. But I always liked the solid defense for Milan uh, and then some flash up front. This is what made Milan always special to me. So yeah, very special memories of this one. I bought it in America, I bought it on sale. I think it was not even that expensive and then they won the Champions League in that one. What a steal. And this jersey now sells. There are loads of fake with the, uh, you know, the, the Champions League custom composition out there. That's all fakes. This is the real deal. The customization you never got at the time. Just have that in mind. Okay, I have four more to show you. All are a little bit more recent than these. I mean, those two here are Glor Girl years and this, yeah, kind of the end of a period. But you know, still the great Milan period. It took a little bit of a nose dive. The next Milan away jersey I also bought from, I bought from Classic Football Shop while living in America. Uh, and I think the story was that I had a different one. I think the one from 08, 09. But then they messed up something with the order and I got a coupon and I could buy a little bit more expensive one. And I got this one from the 09, 10 season. That's the first one without Maldini. However, the way this shirt looks is probably the closest that I get to the uh, glory years from 89 to 90 where the color has also the club's colors. Although back then it was that it was going over the entire color. Uh, this is the European version. Uh, it's a player issue, which you can tell from the red and black stripes here just being taped on. And it doesn't have any uh, sponsor here. So that's why you're, you're remember, I, I want to say they wore this in Marseille, for instance, at a win over Marseille. Yeah, once they won it finally against Marseille because I'm still bitter about that 93 final, but that's a different story. That's an absolutely different story. Uh, I've worn this a while, so the Formosa logo here is um, took a little bit off a hit, but I think it's a, it's a really fine jersey. Uh, I like the AC Milan le lettering. Uh, there were quite some legends playing in this one. It's just it didn't quite work. It was not that great of a team overall. Although you know, you had a Beckham, you had you know Pirlo Gattuso, you had Ronaldinho, and and so on. It was just all a little bit over their prime. But still, it's a really pretty shirt. I gotta say. 
Then we get to the 11-12 season. I want to have another Milan shirt with, with Scudetto because they don't win the league that often, so they won that one. Really happy uh, to get this one. I love the design the moment I had, I saw it. And with them just having one, really cool. It was also uh, around the time that my uh, older daughter was born, so I always remember this one. I remember watching Milan with her on my lap a whole lot. To top it off, I actually saw Milan play in this one. I only saw Milan twice live in the stadium. That was the 95 Champions League final. Yes, didn't go out as well. Different story. And I saw them at a friendly in Munich, playing by by Munich and Slatan scoring after five minutes. Yes, Tom, Tony Gross and Equalize and they lost on penalties. But yes, I saw them play in this uh, one. So really pleased with that as well. It's my favorite away jersey design if you were to ask me maybe yeah this one with the collar white is also cool but i like i love the off center always love that that one only wish that it would go all the way through it's a blank i wouldn't know who to put on the back yes ibrahimovic would be an obvious one but i think there were other great players in that squad as well but it, this has been for a long time uh one of my favorite milan away jerseys Okay, and the last two are very, very, very recent. Another one that is special, another one that doesn't have any customization on it, except has the league logo. It's the jersey that they wore when they won the Italian Championship in 2022. One of the happiest days of recently while watching uh, football, because that was a championship that was not expected. And unlike the others, it's not a white one. It's kind of this off-white with a very interesting pattern that is uh, supposedly reflecting some street maps from the cities where Fondazione Milan is taking place. So you have here Fondazione Milan on, on, on the back. Uh, I actually liked that color because it gave something different, but it's still very distinctly Milan. The only thing I did not necessarily like when you have, have it here in the plain version. Yes, the Puma is in black, the sponsor is in red, but then all the other accents here in red, I think black sleeve cuffs might have made this a teeny bit better. What saved it, and that's why I'm still con contemplating of getting a number on the back here, is of course that the uh, name and the number on the back were black with a red out out outline. So you had kind of um, more balance between the red and the black. Now, who would I want to get on there? I'm still contemplating. I have from this season the home jersey. Uh, with Giroud on the back, I have Tonali on the third jer uh, jersey. <sighs> Tonali would be a one, but you know, there was also Ben Acer, there was Kessie. Ibrahimovic broke a goal scoring record in that one, so maybe this would be the one to go. But still, I have so much good memories of this one that I like to wear it, and that's why I still keep it blank. But maybe I will change that one sometime in the, in the near future. Absolutely. Okay, last one. Last one, and that's the most recent one so far. And this one shares some similarities with other ones. It has a Scudetto. It's the one from the past season. I bought this after Milan beat Spurs in the Champions League round of 16. They had a discount with free shipping that I decided to order this one. Um, it's not necessarily the best season because they only finished fifth, still qualifying for Champions League thanks to Juve going out. Then you made it into the semifinals of the Champions League. However, you got ousted by Inter. So yeah, it's kind of a so-and-so. However, I always wanted to have some horizontal striping. And I think this, this jersey works so well overall. Yes, do I wish that this was going all the way around and not just be boxed? Yes, I would wish that. But other than that, it's really well done. And it goes back to, of course, the mid 80s when they had a similar design on the jersey. I also love, this was the first time the Puma got an away jersey really right. Love how the color incorporates the club's colors. Love how the sleeve cuffs do the same. And of course, the Scudetto rounds it off quite nicely. I have the Serie A patch on there. I have the Bitmix. I went all out, full cost customization, including the V-Fox. And who did I get on the back? If you haven't seen the unpacking video, Teo Hernandez. Uh, really love how he, what he's doing on the left side. And maybe I could also get on this jersey back there, Rafa Leao. I think it should be Leao, because he was the best player that season. It should be Leao, if I think. But I wanted to get Teo Hernandez. Also because uh, my nephew is called Teo, so... That was par, part of it. I like the name set. Um, you know, you have the black outline, you have the Milan crest, and I got the V Fox. So, yeah, that's 
the last one of the seven Avengers of Milan that I have currently in my collection. Of course, I could do a video on home jerseys, I could do a video on third or alternate jerseys, there's plenty enough and I probably will do that in time, but in order to celebrate the legends from this wonderful night in Athens in 94, I decided let's do the away jerseys. And I really love how uh, in Milan has a very defined away look. It's white with the club's colors. And those are the lucky jerseys, as you all know. And that's also what they wear usually in European Cup Finals. Other away jerseys for the collection? I don't want to spoil it, but there's another one already coming. And I'm looking for a few more because, well, the red and black are the classic colors. I have to say the white away jersey, especially with just the red and the black added, does something to me. For me, this is one of the most beautiful color combinations. So there you go. In any case, let me know what you think about this small, small, maybe small collection. And yes, I would like to have one from the early 90s when I became a fan. And I also think I would like the one from 98, although it's very bare bones. I also have good mem memories of, of the one they were in 2000 when they, or 999, 2000 when they beat Barcelona with the red uh, band here. That, was, that also looked nice. But you know, hey, what not is can still be. In any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and I'll talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day! Bye!